Hello, and we're here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming. And since last episode skipped, I think it was two days here, if I remember correctly. We're now into the month of August here. I've uh, been feeding the animals here, and then also off screen, I was working on picking up some of the grass here as well. And so if I head over to, uh, to the horses here, I think I've got all the grass over here uh, picked up. Also, I'm curious to see once did the grass regrow. It looks like it has. Yes. I can't really tell where I have and haven't uh, mowed. Well, actually, maybe you can. It looks like this spot was mowed over here, I think. That actually looks like that's just a completely different type of grass. Up here. Anyway, whatever. Looks like the grass has regrown, so I was kind of curious about that one. And then, as hopefully you can see, like I said, I got uh, most of the grass all picked up here as well. Probably a few spots here and there that I might have missed. I don't know who did the mowing that job, ever, but oh uh, my goodness, they must have been drunk or something. Because, wow, all over the place. Um, anyway, uh, the horses should be fed here, I think, yet. Let's go check this here a moment. So, animals. Uh, that's the cows. Horses here. Base food. Oh, they're actually not quite full yet, so we can actually uh, put the rest of the oats in here, maybe. Must have been uh, yesterday in game time that I fed them. I couldn't remember if it was today or yesterday. Apparently it was yesterday. Throw another bag of oats over here as well. Just to top that off here. Uh, again, we've uh, discussed this at length in the past, everyone. Yep. Yeah, you gotta make sure you watch. The ratio of feed you're putting into your animals, because, well, giants is stupid. So, anyway. There we go. It's going to take care of that for now. Yeah, we're getting the ratio up just a little bit better, so that's good. Just got to keep an eye on that. Got plenty of water yet. Uh, cleanliness. Well, they're not the cleanest, are they? I'm not sure there should be. I thought the mod was supposed to take care of that for us. I didn't think we had to really uh, brush them. Maybe we do have one, because I mean, it is showing that we need to clean these horses. Stop, stop moving horses, come on. There we go. You. Come on. There we go. Okay, you're good. Now there's, what, was it 16 horses? I think it was 16 horses here, so uh, keep a track of which one has and hasn't been brushed here. That's going to be a bit interesting. We're up to five there, right? Yeah, like I said, I'm curious, though, because I thought the mod was supposed to do this for us, but maybe not. And not the end of the world if we got to just brush the horses. That one's good. Okay. Apparently, I did that one. That is not a horse there. That's a deer. Much easier when they're just uh, standing still, that is for sure. Okay, that does not seem like all of them, but maybe it is. Take a quick uh, run around here, Matt, see if I can find any more horses that need to be uh, washed off here. I think they're all looking pretty good. Obviously, they're kind of moving around a little bit, too, I and mean, so a little bit hard to tell which ones I have and haven't done here. Plus, I don't know. Can I... Uh, maybe the menu would show us. I don't know. Actually, is there any horses in here? You're good. You're, oh, you need to be washed yet. Okay, there's one we missed. How about you? No, you're good. And you? I think we got them, Alvin. Let's go check here. Yeah, clean this 100%. Excellent. I'm assuming if we, uh, like, missed one, Evan, that would think the percentage would still be down a little bit. I'm not entirely sure on that. Maybe we should have checked that. And for our cows here, looks like we're looking uh, pretty good on those. Productivity, 100% water. and Probably should get them some water here fairly soon. And then they do have hay and grass at the moment. Because uh, the grass I was picking up here, when I did go ahead and dump that in over here. Uh, I didn't quite get all the grass over here picked up yet. There's still some grass over here, which... Yeah, now that I skipped time, I might actually make this a little bit harder to pick up. I don't know, because, yeah, well... I guess if you zoom out like this, you can kind of see where it is. Yeah, if you're just down like this, though, I mean, you can't really see where the grass is very well, can you? So that might uh, might make picking this up a little more difficult. Uh, I ran out of space. Oh, speaking of which, by the way, uh, for picking up the grass, I just picked up this uh, forage wagon from my uh, town and uh, was picking up the grass that way. I figured that's probably the easiest way to pick it up. But yeah, filled that up, everyone. Oh, shut that tractor off. We don't need that run at the moment. Uh, filled that up, though, and I had to stop picking up, and, of course, the, the cows were full on food, so I couldn't put any in there. The horses were also 
people, which actually I don't think horses take grass anyway, right? So that really is a mute point when it comes to them. Yeah, they're hay, so they don't take grass. I don't think, anyway. I know there's a, sometimes a mods that will let you uh, interchangeably use grass and hay, but in that case, I doubt it. Anyway, what are we working on here this episode? We've got uh, field one here. I think that's the only one that's ready to harvest. Yeah, so field one is ready to harvest. That reminds me, too, I was going to check. Let's see, if we turn our grass on, where's our grass at here? Oh, our grass field is ready to mowed as well. So we might, uh, might see if we get started on that here at some point. I'm not sure. Might save that for next episode. We'll see what's up. But yeah, definitely want to get the combine out here for starters this episode. We're going to head over to field one and start combining. We got our John Deere S550 with our uh, John Deere 630F uh, Draper head here. Guess you can't get in the combine on that side. Gotta go around this side. Kind of makes sense, I suppose. Oh, yeah. The beast lives. Now, see if we can get it out of the shed here. As I've uh, said before, I've been uh, playing as uh, Shed Tetris. Not real high up on my list of uh, fun things to do, if you ask me. I wouldn't, but, you know, whatever. Turn off the uh, game audio here just a little bit. I always looked like it was a little bit quiet. The grass looks a little bit uh, different than the uh, regular grass. Uh, well, at least uh, you can tell where the edge of the field is, I guess. That's uh, that kind of good. Uh, speaking of the grass, by the way, I'm still looking at uh, maybe getting that uh, Vermeer mower. We'll get that uh, maybe from uh, town here. Maybe that's something we can do this episode. Yeah, we'll see you once here. Kind of thinking that uh, might be the mower I want to give a try. Just, again, for something a little bit uh, different. I might, of course, maybe uh, throw that on a course plate because it is only like six meters wide, but still. And then we'll probably just end up uh, getting a baler and uh, bailing that hay. And then we can use our auto low trailer. Wait, that's right. The auto load does not work on our trailer, even though it's uh, an auto low trailer. Yeah. Not sure what's up with that anyway. That's a pretty good little hill on this field, yeah. Well, ooh, I just have to think it's up to him. I should uh, check here. I think we're good. Yeah, we should be good. Let's make sure we uh, repair our combine. You have one. Don't want the combine uh, wearing out while we're harvesting it. That is for sure. Uh, for those of you maybe a little bit newer here to Farming Simulator, when your combine starts to wear out, you start losing yield, and a lot of it, too. Um, something as I've said before when I seriously disagree with that mechanic in the game but that is this game mechanic unfortunately so kind of have to deal with it right so again once your uh, combine drops below 70 percent of one you will be losing yield and it's just the combine by the way your header basically the way it works out your header is going to affect how fast you can go so if you're only able to go like three miles and you should be able to go six, well, it's probably because your header's broken down. And then uh, maybe you're able to go six miles an hour, but you're losing like 50% of your yield. Well, that's because the combine's broken down. And actually 50% is a slight exaggeration because the most you can lose, I think, is 40. And yes, when I said 40, that is not an exaggeration. You can lose up to 40% of your yield uh, because you did not repair your combine, which... Yeah, I don't know. Definitely not a mechanic. I agree with that one, especially with uh, how long it takes. And when I say long, I mean, I'm like how short, really, it takes for the combine to break down. If I remember uh, correctly, I mean, uh, no mods or anything like that base game default settings i think your combine breaks down in about an hour before you start yes i mean i said that about an hour before you start losing yield so literally when you can only run your combine in about an hour after an hour 
you're probably going to be losing yield on your field. Now, in my case, Evan, I've got a couple of mods here that are supposed to slow down the aware rate. And then I also, let's see what's in the settings. I believe you can turn down dirt, which I think the dirt affects the wear as well. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I've got the uh, dirt turned down to slow. So, and then I, again, like I said, I've got a couple mods here as well. I think it's two different ones, if I remember correctly. One that slows down, you know, dirt wear. Actually, does it just wear? Might just be the wear. And then another mod that also makes it cheaper to repair as well, which, eh, I could take or leave that mod. That one doesn't super bother me too much, but. Although, with that being said, uh, maybe I shouldn't say that because uh, Giants has made the prices for repairing some of your equipment quite outrageous as well. So, yeah, keep in mind, I mean, you know, the prices and the uh, times you're seeing in my game here are being heavily influenced by mods. So, just something to uh, keep in mind in that uh, area. One good thing, if you're using a course play to do your harvesting, everyone, uh, of course, they will automatically repair the combine. I think it's either 70, 80 percent, something like that. Once it uh, goes down a little bit, of course, but it just automatically repairs. It sounds kind of nice. That is another mod I have as well. When I saw it, I think it's midnight. Uh, the game will also automatically repair all my equipment. So that's why I typically don't have to repair my equipment very often. That one, other than again the combine, which. You know, if you're harvesting the field, I mean, it's not uncommon that it might take you a couple hours to harvest a decent-sized field. And a reminder, by the way, when, while we're harvesting here, if you haven't already uh, subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that uh, subscribe button and click that uh, bell notification as well. That way you get notified when the latest, greatest uh, RDL video goes live. Uh, don't forget to have one down in the uh, description of the video here. You can find links to the rest of my social media uh, channels, Facebook, Instagram, all that uh, good stuff. I guess we could say uh, Twitter as well. I do also have a Twitter, although I'm not uh, super active on there, really. Although maybe with all the yeah, the fun that's been happening over there lately, maybe we should uh, go back over there and uh, just, uh, yeah, let's, let's see what's going on, right? For those of you following the news, obviously you know what I'm talking about there. Oh, speaking of which, by the way, uh, for those of you watching the, uh, this video, the day it goes live, I want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, okay, you know, I've, one of the things YouTube always says is don't mention, like, dates and stuff in your videos because it dates your videos, which, you know, makes sense. I mean, for those of you watching that, after the fact, obviously it's probably not Thanksgiving, but but for those of you that are watching this video here tomorrow, the day this video goes live, I want, want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving. Hope you have a uh, great day, at least in the United States here. I don't remember if any other countries celebrate Thanksgiving the same day the United States does. And, and Canadian one I know is earlier. But uh, so yeah, again, if you're in the United States, everyone, or even if you're not, uh, have yourself a happy uh, Thanksgiving. Hope folks uh, enjoy some good food. Uh, well, maybe see some family, whatever you're doing. Stay safe and, uh, like I said, have a happy Thanksgiving. I know at least for myself, I'm one. Uh, I think we're going out to the, uh, the wife's side of the family tomorrow or today again when you see this video. I mean, it'll be today. Going out uh, to the wife's side of the family and then hopefully uh, tomorrow or uh, two days from now when I'm recording this video, I'm uh, going to go have Thanksgiving with my side of the family. So yes, look, hopefully lots of uh, lots of good food to eat. Looking forward to it. A couple of days off work. Maybe some good shopping. We'll have to see what's there. Maybe not on that one. Uh, stay away from that Black Friday shopping. That's, uh, that's some dangerous stuff there. But anyway, let's go grab our... Oh, you know what? Our gravity wings are probably still over here yet, aren't they? Yes, they are. Which, uh, actually, I forget. Did I empty them? I think I did, right? They should be emptied. Speaking of watch, for those of you who maybe didn't see the last episode, we got our new bin setup up here going. Our AGI bins. That is from the AGI pack, by the way. Real nice, that little uh, DLC there if you want bins and stuff like that. Ah, that would explain a little bit of a lag there. Auto save. Great little mod there, by the way. 
highly recommend uh, getting that mod if folks don't have it. It's the auto save mod. And I know some of you folks might be right away thinking, well, wait a minute. The game already has auto save, right? Yes, it, the game even does kind of sort of have auto save. However, with a big, humongous butt there, everyone, the games, the, the built in auto save only only works if you go into the menu so you know if you spend a couple hours playing everyone and you never go into the menu guess what the auto save never works you have to go into the menu for the auto save to work the auto save will only save if you go into the menu i, I, I was going to say something but I, I think you folks know my thoughts on that one so we'll just we'll, we'll move on from that one this uh, combine and load here a minute so yeah again just another uh great little mod highly recommend that one i believe it's on the official farming simulator mod hub if i recall correctly it, it basically just takes the in-game auto save feature and makes it so it auto saves every i think it's well actually it depends what you set it to i think in my case i've got it set to 15 minutes everyone uh, i believe you can change that to whatever you want every 15 half hour I think you can even make it sooner than that if you want. I don't remember exactly what all the settings for the auto save are again, everyone, but it basically just takes the in game auto save and makes it actually auto save on the time it says it's going to auto save. So if you set your auto save time to 15 minutes, everyone, it is actually, actually going to auto save every 15 minutes. I, I know, I, I can see all you folks, uh, your minds are just blown by this fact, right? <laughs> yeah, so am I. <laughs> anyway. Just a reminder too, everyone, uh, down in the uh, description of this video here, by the way, you can find a link to my Twitch stream as well, or Twitch channel, really, I should call it. So for those of you who want to catch some more Artie Allen content live, uh, you can follow myself over on Twitch. Uh, you're also welcome to come hang out, chat, of course, and uh, welcome to join us via voice in TeamSpeak, if you like. Uh, so again, we do have the Artie Allen TeamSpeak server. Uh, that information, again, down below in the uh, description of this video. One question I do get asked every so often, everyone, is if I have a mod list. Uh, apologies, everyone, but at least at this point, I do not currently have a mod list here for Farming Simulator uh, 22. Uh, most of the mods I'm getting, everyone, probably come from the official Farming Simulator mod hub. So, again, you can download those right through in the game, everyone. And then uh, the majority, I would say, of the rest of the mods I have come from Facebook. So, those are kind of like the two places I get most of my mods from, everyone, either Facebook or the official Farming Simulator mod hub. Anyway, we'll uh, read a few uh, comments here a minute from last episode. Uh, Ethan was saying, this actually wasn't from last episode, this was from another video, but it seems like a good one. He was saying, too bad EVGA is not making graphics cards anymore. As far as the 4000 series goes, I do not know if one will fit in my case. Curious to see how the new 7000 series AMD cards stack up, which I believe, and someone correct me if I'm wrong in this, this also kind of dates this video, but I believe the 7000 cards are like right around the corner, right? Uh, Brian was saying one thing I forgot to mention about course play combine unload is the combine needs to be on course play. Oh, that's kind of uh, disappointing. See, that was one of the things I always liked about. Uh, course play one is I can run the combine which as I've said before is one of my favorite activities in the game here is running combine I love to harvest everyone kind of my uh like I said my favorite thing to do in the game I would say you do all the work uh planting and fertilizing and tilling and spraying weeds and whatever else not the field needs and then uh yeah it all kind of comes down to this right everyone harvest see once how well you did uh, though when it comes to the game when it's uh you really don't have to worry about weather. I mean, unless you're like really trying to screw up your field. I want to, your yields are pretty much perfect all the time, right? You don't have to worry about that. The game kind of takes all the real life 
problems of farming and takes them out. Which I'm not complaining about that necessarily. If I wanted those, I'm going to just go farm in real life. Uh, Ethan was saying I've used a sickle bar mower in real life. Definitely satisfying. They have no problems going through bushes and small trees. Uh, Nathan was saying the John Deere Batwing mower has two versions. One that mulches, which won't leave grass or cut shrubs down. Oh, and I wonder if that's probably the version I got. Because, yeah, the one I have, I don't think is supposed to leave grass behind it or dropping it. It's not supposed to leave a windrow behind it, right? Uh, it says the other version, which I believe is windrow, that one will cut shrubs and bushes, leaves the grass behind. Be careful which one you select in the store. That Okay, thank you very much for that one there, Nathan. That probably clears up why the, uh, the John Deere Batwing mower does not work for cutting down shrubs and stuff, which is what I bought it for, unfortunately. But yeah, that explains that one. So that one does not work. That also doesn't, like, cut the actual grass that we have in our pastures either. Which, uh, again, I don't know if that grass actually counts as grass for those pastures. I don't know if there's a way to tell. My thoughts are when it probably doesn't, but I don't know. Well, let's see what's here. Kind of an odd shaped field. I'm not sure I'll do that far. Oh, I guess maybe I did. Hmm. These map views are being very unhelpful. Let's let me go check the big map. I'm trying to figure out what uh, what direction we should set up a GPS line and if we want to get GPS going. So either we could uh, like pick this line here, kind of in the top right corner of the field here, going diagonal. Or we got a little bit of a straight side there. Okay, maybe uh, use that one too. That might uh, might also work. Kind of debate how we want to go about that one. Well, if we pick the uh, straight line that's over here, we should have a GPS line that'll pretty much line up with that. Looks like it's still going to be a little bit diagonal yet. Not exactly straight, but closer. Oh, uh, by the way, I should uh, probably mention as well, one. I know a while back we uh, talked about maybe playing on the uh, Silver Run Forest map here when it came out. Uh, still possibly might happen yet, but I'm not sure. But what I'm kind of thinking, and by the way, for those who want to see more content on the Silver Run Forest, I am doing a live stream on that. What we might do of it is maybe do some forestry on the live stream. And then maybe uh, once we get some land cleared, maybe we can like switch over and do some farming on that map. So farming here on the YouTube side of things. And uh, maybe we'll do a little forestry over here too. We'll see once, but. That's kind of what I'm uh, thinking at this point. I mean, we'll, yeah, I'm just kind of see once how it goes. I'm not sure how much uh, longer we want to really continue to play on this map either. I mean, it really is not like a really big farming map here obviously this feels more like an animal style map which uh, we are getting into a little bit by the way and maybe we should uh, continue to work on getting a little more into get a couple more uh, cow pastures going I know there was some uh, murmurings in the uh, live streams and team speak at one about seeing if we could uh, beat some of our previous records here for animals and farming simulator. And I don't remember exactly what we're up to, Evan, but uh, farming simulator 19, we were, oh, what? Well, to be honest, Evan, I don't remember how many animals we were up to again. I think it was more than 10,000, if I remember correctly. Might have to ask the uh, channel historian to uh, look into that number for me.
But yeah, I'm, I'm quite okay even if we don't have to, uh, you know, like, try to beat that number. Because that, that, that's just a little bit crazy. Especially with the way Farming Simulator handles animals now, one. Previously, I went before, I think it was before Farming Simulator 19. So, like, Farming Simulator 17 and earlier, if I remember correctly. Maybe it was 15 and earlier. But when it came to animals, I went, you could just buy as many animals as you want. You know, you have one cow barn and you can fill it up with, you know, 100,000 cows if you wanted to. Obviously, that would not work so well for real life, but uh, that's the way the game let you do it, right? And then I believe it was Farming Simulator 19 when it changed that, where you can only put X number of animals in said build. And this was dependent on how either Giants or the mod author set it up. So, you know, cows, now you can only put, just picking a number here, say 100 cows in this size building. And stuff with on that as well. Yeah, I think that'll be a good line to uh, go by one. That should work. Oh, yeah, that should work quite nicely. Get this uh, side straightened out here a little bit, and that should be a nice uh, straight line across there. So, yeah, when it comes to uh, doing large numbers of animals here in Farming Simulator 19 and 22, for that matter, one, it's definitely a little bit more difficult, right? I know the first time we did a large number of animals, and that was probably, I think that was Farming Simulator 15, I'd like to say. And I think we were, what, six or 7,000 cows then? Obviously, I mean, that was a lot easier. Just keep buying cows, right? You don't have to worry about putting another pin down. And then, of course, when it comes to feeding them, now you got multiple cow pins or horses, chickens, whatever. They got to sit here filling up all the time. That, uh, yeah, a lot more work rather than just filling up the one pin all the time. Especially if you want automated as well. Now you got, well, you know, you got, say, 10 cow pins, they all hold 200 each. Now you got 10 cow pins you got to try to automate. And just uh, doing a quick check of our yield here. Let's see what's how we're looking here. Looking at the other map, looks like we're pretty average. I would say nothing spectacular, which uh, would probably make sense. Looks like we're looking at silty clay here. Yeah, none of our fields here are particularly spectacular here as far as, uh, as far as our soil type goes. That being said, it looks like we're, yeah, nice even 100% of it. I'm not going to complain about that, right? Field 3 was a little bit less. Right, 100% yield, though. Like I said, I'm good with that. Okay, I'm looking at the time. It looks like it is about time to wrap it up here for this episode. So we'll uh, come back next episode. Hopefully, maybe uh, start on mowing our grass field there. And we'll, uh, we'll finish up harvesting as well, hopefully. So with that being said, everyone, thanks for watching. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to throw them down below. And as I said, if you watch this uh, video tomorrow, everyone, when the video goes live, hope you folks have a happy Thanksgiving.